Clearbrook Gomvik saw its season come to an end last fall at the hands of Kitson County Central. But on the plus side, nobody gave the Bears a chance to even make it into that game against KCC. Clearbrook Gomvik shocked third-seeded Goodrich Rigla in the first round of the section playoffs in 2013. That win, coupled with a solid effort against KCC in the section semifinals, has the Bears confident entering this season. But only four total starters are back this year, so there are a lot of spots to fill. For just two days, we're excited from what we've seen. There's definitely some guys who are quiet guys, who sit back guys before, who are, are stepping up, and then that's what you need. People don't really think we'll do very good, but it's because we lost a lot of kids, but I think we'll, I think we'll be all right if we just keep working hard and everybody seems to show it. I think a lot of teams are underestimating us because uh, of the class that graduated in front of us, but that just has motivated us more than anything. We want to get out there and show them that uh, we're a lot better than they think. I know we can do stuff. It's whether we can just execute or not. I mean, small things every day. Well, here's that Clearbrook Gombat graphic again. We'll talk about them this time. Casey Kralik has led the Bears to winning seasons in four. In four of six years as head coach. The lack of returning starters is a big issue, but Clearbrook Gonvik has more than three weeks to shore up its offense and defense. The Bears begin the season August 28th at Wabin. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.